All right, we're here at the corner of Washington and Hurley, Hurley Avenue in Kingston with a couple of the members of Occupy Kingston who are here outside of the Bank of America to protest the banks and their role in the collapse of the American economy. So what do you guys have to say about why you're here and what you're doing? Well, I think most of the people who are, who are involved with us are, are really looking at the big picture. Um, I was um, greeted by one of the Bank of America customers yesterday who, who scolded me because he said there are people who work in that bank. And I didn't have too much to say at the time, but when I left, I got thinking about it, and I said, what about all the people who don't have homes anymore, thanks to Bank of America and some of the shenanigans by all the big banks? And then I spoke to Evan this morning, who is one of our people, and he said, you know, the other thing you have to remind them is that Bank of America is throwing out, laying off, some 30,000 people across the country, either now or in the near future. And, and so the reality is you've got to take down these big banks because the government wouldn't do it. The government said they're too big to fail, so the people perhaps can make them fail and we'll get into smaller community banks. I guess that's about it. What right. we're asking people to do today is to take their money out of Bank of America and put them in credit unions. Because credit unions are owned by people. They're cooperatively run. And they generally they invest in their communities. They're generally local banks. And anybody can run to be on the board. And they consider people first before big business and money making, even though they have to be a viable Nonprofit, they are cooperatively run. So uh, I put my money in a credit union about 10 years ago, asking the director before I did if they invested in offshore corporations or human, that perpetrated human rights abuses. And uh, I found out that they didn't directly invest uh, like commercial banks do, but they did have some money in insurance holdings that those insurance holders may invest in that, which was a little more. Fr removed than, than actually commercial banks that invest in, in willy-nilly speculation and, and, and uh, corporations that have no principles like um, of when it, uh, abroad. So, but you know, just, just the principle of, of, of supporting your local credit union and supporting your own communities through local investment and the power to run for board or vote for your board and own your own bank is really important. And that's the kind of systemic change we need. Now. And we are so grateful for those people down in New York City who got this all going and who have been willing to put themselves out there under incredible hardships. you got to understand that one of the things a movement like that collects is the bottom socioeconomic people, people who are perhaps have, don't think quite clearly and, and can't take care of themselves. And so all of a sudden, those people down on Wall Street were welcoming those people to come eat, even though it's an incredible headache, because it's the right thing to do. And you can't leave the bottom of the social scene out. You just can't do that. And that's what the big money boys, they couldn't care less, huh? This country goes down the tubes, they'll be living in Timbuktu someplace on money that they've stolen from the American people for a long, long time. So what do you guys think is the long-term outlook for the Occupy movement and then on the smaller local level? What do you think will happen and what do you, would you like to see happen? Well, I, I, I don't want to no, hog no, the show no, here. But anybody else want to speak up to that? The reality is I think this movement is going to make it, and that's very exciting. Um, as soon as... As one of the famous people said, I don't know who it was, Noam Chomsky maybe, um, as soon as the blue shirts join us, which they will at some point, because they're part of us. They're you part mean the, of the, 98%. the police, you mean? Yep, the police, and I think also the military. 
Now the military is getting involved a little bit. Some of the vets are coming back and they're getting beat up and put in the hospital. But you know what? When they start seeing that happen to each other, they're going to be with us too. And that's the only thing that keeps them in power is they got this incredible force. I just looking at a chart this morning. 60% of our budget is military. It's crazy. And then there was another 10% for homeland security. What kind of nonsense is that? It's crazy. We don't need homeland security. We need to treat the rest of the world properly, man. That's what we yeah, need to do. And, and basically, Occupy Wall Street is calling for deeper systemic change. Not just running for office, not just um, using the same political system. Uh, you know, there's, there's, it's, it's a long discussion, and it's going to take time to figure out what kind of systemic change we need. I propose to have general assemblies and direct democracy in government, and that's on the table, which is... It, anybody can get involved in decision making. You don't just have to run for office. The elected representatives could hold meetings with the public, ask them, what do you think we should do, and work as a community educating each other. You know, we're smart enough today to, to get involved in that kind of direct democracy, and, and it's been happening already around the world in Switzerland. And we used to do it with our <laughs> meetings back in the colonial days. Uh, Vermont still does it. So, you know. The other other things on the table include electoral reform, political reform, uh, getting overturning Citizens United with a the bill constitutional just amendment. Um, a the bill was introduced to overturn Citizens, Citizens United, which basically allowed corporations unlimited campaign funding, which gives corporations much more political power than, than people. And corporations are considered people nowadays. They have more rights than people. Oh, time and time again, the Supreme Court gives corporations greater rights than people. And, and, and you know, there's, there's calls for constitutional amendments to take away corporate citizenship as well. I mean, we need some radical change in this country because uh, money right now is, 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 is running politics and we need people to run politics. So it, it's got to be big picture thinking, it's got to be long-term change, uh, and it has to be sustainable. And, and this, this kind of systemic change takes time to discuss, so we can't come up with a demand right now. We're still figuring it out. All the pieces of this broken system need to be sorted through first. And there's so many pieces that, you know, it's going to take time, so. Yeah. It's happening. It's happening. We're doing it. All right. Um, why don't you uh, tell us who you are and anything else you want to say about yourselves and any kind of final closing statements you might want to make. Yeah, my name's Ralph Gilbert. New York. My first uh, encounter with Occupy Wall Street. I went down and I, and I joined the zombie, the zombie march down to Wall Street. And a young lady from Switzerland, from Sweden, excuse me, was there. And she painted my face. And, we, and they gave me some fake hundred dollar bills. A bunch of us got together and we went down and walked down Wall Street. And and it was an incredible experience. Uh, thinking about what it must be like to, to have that much money as that top 0.1% has and to be holding it away from the rest of the people. There's it, it, got to be a better distribution of wealth. But that can't happen until we get the systemic change that this lady's talking about. All right. My name is Valeria Georgiou and I help organize the group. Started and we started at 7 p.m. Now we have regular meetings at 7 p.m. at Backstage Productions on Thursday nights. Please come, anybody come. Uh, out of that, I also got inspired to run as a writing candidate for County Executive for Ulster County because Mike Hine, a Republican, is running unopposed. And he represents kind of Occupy Wall Street issues we're fighting. He's pushing to privatize the Golden Hill Healthcare Center in spite of the nine options that the task force had come up with, and in spite of the legislative session uh, deliberating beforehand and consulting their communities and their districts through town hall meetings on what to do, he's steamrolling unilaterally ahead to privatize Golden Hill Healthcare. He's reducing mental health and substance abuse services, social services in Ulster County, while increasing the district attorney's budget <laughs> repeatedly year after year and the sheriff's patrol. And substance abuse and mental health services are supposed to prevent crime. It's counterintuitive. And he may be doing it because it's a difficult budget to balance, but 
parents. You've got to consider people in the process and balance it fairly. And the fact remains that in Ulster County, it's an Occupy Wall Street issue because, well, maybe the budget's decreasing. But why? Because Governor Cuomo is not renewing the surcharge on the millionaire's tax. And that millionaire's tax, that state money, would tri trickle down to the counties, which then trickles down to the social services that we need. And so what we need now is creative, radical governing. We need county executives and legislators to community organize. We need them to pass resolutions calling on Cuomo to renew this tax. And even if it doesn't hold up in court or have a lot of authority, at least it represents what the people want. And a large majority of the people recognize that the system's broken and that we need to help each other, not, not put each other in jail. So uh, I'm running as a writing candidate, I'm a registered Green, I've been voting on the Green Line ever since I was in college 15 years ago, and I'm running because somebody needs to do something to shake up and Ulster County and recognize that we have Occupy Wall Street issues here in Ulster County. Uh, we're preparing an action on November 15th, come to the Occupy Kingston, New York meetings to find out more, and uh, thanks. All right, thank you all for your time. That must be and a powerful little machine you have there. <laughs> Android phone.